Hello everybody, I want to show you this video 10 cool things you can do with the LG G8S. Thank you. Yeah, the first thing I want to show you is about uh, the energy. Uh, there's an energy saving mode if you're watching maybe YouTube videos and you just watch these videos because of the music. So you don't really watch it, you just hear the music, but there's an option you can put it automatically on low light. No? So let me show you what I mean. If you scroll down here, scroll down, on, scroll down a second time, you have here that echo playback. And uh, it gives you already here a, a, a description what it means. So uh, the screen brightness is lowered so you can focus on the audio when you are playing the music and so on. So a very nice tool. Uh, as I said, especially if you want to save energy because if the video is running, it takes a lot. Okay, as an alternative, you can uh, take the YouTube music app maybe, um, because then you can also off the screen in general, uh, you put it, can put it on standby. Nah? But if you don't have that app, this is a very nice mode for. And after if you're ready with, so just tap on the screen to see something again, scroll down, scroll down a second time, and just tap the icon again, and this mode is disabled. And the next mode is about the camera, because if you see something very nice and you want to have a picture of it, but the phone is maybe on standby, there's a way to launch the camera very quickly by double tapping the volume down button. If you double tap the volume down button, you immediately add the camera and can take your picture and so on. So a nice mode to don't miss a great picture. And apropos camera, we have uh, here also the opportunity uh, because we have three cams here and um, we can change this camera very quickly without doing this one. Uh, so um, well, let me show you here with our little manchi sheet. Thank you for helping me. So this is the uh, regular mode, but if you're tapping now here on the little three, on the little three, pardon, uh, then you can really zoom it or if you tap it again, you have the ultra wide mode. Now the ultra wide mode is also very nice because uh, especially if you want to have group pictures, now let me show you, if, especially if you have group pictures and you are very close to the object, it is difficult to have the one next to our Monchichi here. It's my hand now. Nah? So, but if you're using, if you are using the ultra wide mode, then you see um, it's like fish eye cam. So we have much more angle here. Yeah, so a nice mode also to don't, uh, you, so if you want to zoom fast, then just tap here one time and you have a very fast zoom and it's already auto focused. Yeah, the next feature I want to show you is the context awareness. So uh, let us go to the settings for to show you what it is. And then we have here the general settings in the first row. Huh? Then scroll down and you will have here the context, the context awareness. So. Um, this nice feature supports you in some situations. May let me explain this one here at home and away from home and at work and so on. Because if you enable that stuff, uh, your, um, your area at home, then uh, you can change the sound profile. May that uh, sound profile is then on silent or something like this. Or you can also change that the Bluetooth uh, has to turn on automatically on the Wi-Fi because at home usually you, you, you are using your Wi-Fi and so on and so on. And the same thing also here at work. So um, you can also put maybe the phone on silence if you're at work and so on. And the same thing also with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So a very nice feature. So that means that you don't have to uh, leave the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth the whole time um, running. So you just have to, you just can disable it. And uh, if you have set it up here, it will turn on automatically. The same with the sound profile is very nice because you can have different um, situations. Also, if you are away from home, that means if you're leaving your home place, you can put maybe the sound profile on loud or something like this and off the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. So a very nice feature. And uh, your parking assistant also to see where you have you left your car because it will save the spot. And what is also very nice here, it is what the phone should do if you plug in the as when you plug in the headset so let me show you that if we enable here that feature we can choose maybe an app which one have to open automatically if i plug in my headset so uh, may let's take uh, 
YouTube, but you can also take, of course, Apple Music, Spotify, um, Tidal, and so on and so on. So confirm you with OK. OK, let me show you what it means. So if I plug in now my headset here, uh, the YouTube app opens automatically. So very nice and you save a bit time with that. I think it's very comfortable. And uh, let me go back here to the context awareness because you can do the same thing also if you're connecting to Bluetooth. If you're connecting to Bluetooth, maybe in combination also with the other stuff here, uh, to, uh, um, uh, to a speaker maybe at home, then it goes uh, automatically to an app you have set up uh, before here. So it's very comfortable and you don't have to look for that app and so on. It saves time. It's a nice comfort thing. And of course, you can do screenshots with that phone as well. So there are two ways. One works with the buttons, here the power button and the volume down button. If you press the power button and the volume down button now for the same time, hold it for one second and you have a screenshot with a preview. You can share it directly or edit it. Let me show you one more time the power button and the volume down button. Press it for the same time and you will have a screenshot. Now, after, as I said, you can draw something inside or cut maybe something if you go here on that feature, then you um, select the place you want to cut and it is cut. And after you just confirm here and go on gallery and then it will be part of your gallery. And there's another way to take a screenshot. If you scroll down here and go here on the capture plus symbol, you will have a screenshot as well. And uh, the same thing, you can draw something inside, you can cut something. And if you are ready, just go here on that place and uh, this capture plus have uh, also a very nice tool because if you're on a website eh, like here the lg website you can make a scroll shot so you can have the whole website on uh, a screenshot let me show you what i mean if you're now taking here the capture plus then uh, we can go here on extend and now the screen is running down and taking the scroll shot if you want to interrupt it just tap it um, uh, in the middle then it will interrupt the scrolling and you have just that part and now you can also draw something inside and if you want to uh, go down you have to use two fingers to scroll down and so on so this is our screenshot and at the end if you're ready with the stuff same thing go here to save it to the gallery and what is also very cool, you can record the screen also if you are maybe playing a game or something like this. So just scroll down, scroll down a second time and go here on the second page. And here we'll find the icon for screen recording. So tap it and for the first time he will tell you that you, has to, that you have to respect the copyright of others and so on and so on. So OK, go and start. And there's a countdown now and after the screen recording is running. Maybe if you're using this feature for the first time, you have to allow at first uh, that the phone have access to the storage, to the microphone and so on. But he will explain you that, so it's very simple. You can do that. And uh, yeah, now the screen recording is running. As you can see here, we see here the time. If the tool is disturbing, you can put it also on another place. Huh? But uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a good place there. And uh, yeah, after you're finished with, Scroll down, scroll down a second time and go here on the symbol and the screen recording have stopped. You can go directly to the preview or if you want, you can go also here to the gallery uh, because here you have all your recording videos. As you can see, I had already some twice. And uh, yeah, of course, you can see also here your screenshots we did before as well as the capture plus stuff. Also, here I had some twice. This is our capture before. And for the moment, we need our phone longer and we have no opportunities to charge the phone and so on. There's a way to save energy, the nice battery saving mode here. If we are going now to the settings, and then we need here the last point. Also, generally, we are already on it. And then we need the point battery. So, and the first of all, is a battery usage point. If you want to check your statistics, uh, maybe let us have a look here what takes the most energy and so on and so on. By the way, it's always the screen. So um, uh, take care that you uh, off your screen after using it because that will really save energy. And uh, yeah, but we want to have the battery safer here now. So go on battery safer. 
And uh, yeah, this is the regular mode. You will always, always show the estimated time until the phone turns off. If you extend it a bit, we have much more. And if we go on maximum, we have many more. So turn on. So uh, first of all, the phone will turn into the dark mode. So everything is in black now because that saves already energy. Because uh, LG have here an OLED screen that saves the most energy, so that is very great. There are many stuff in the background are also off, so this is the reason why it saves a lot of energy. And if you are ready with uh, later, just go to the battery saver here again, as I show you how to enable it. At the same way, you can also disable it if you go here later on off. And yeah. Like in a regular mode. So maybe this mode will save uh, your life one day because you need your phone uh, a bit longer. Because as you have seen, uh, this feature will double the remaining time of the battery. Yeah, the next point I want to show you is about to clone apps. Um, as you know, it is a dual SIM phone and uh, you could use two numbers and uh, why not two WhatsApp accounts then? Uh, so it is uh, possible. And uh, of course, you can clone also other apps like Facebook and so on. So I will show you how to do that. So uh, first of all, we go to the settings here. So and then we need here the point general. And then if we scroll down a bit, we have here the point dual app. So and with that feature, you have to so you have to uh, confirm that picture uh, at the first time. And then uh, you have here the list which apps support that. So. In my case, it's the Messenger from Facebook and WhatsApp. So I have to install now the second application. Also, you install. So now I have two WhatsApp accounts. One, no? and then here also two Messenger accounts. No? As you could see, I have also Instagram here on my phone. So Instagram is not supported by that feature. So, but you can have two WhatsApp accounts and two Messenger accounts, uh, same also with Facebook accounts here on that phone. Uh, so, and uh, you can recognize them always with that little symbol here. This is always the second one. In any case, you want to remove it. Uh, it's also very uh, easy. Then you go just here to the settings again, to general and then to the point, um, the dual app. So where it is, there it is. And uh, then you just go here on uninstall, uninstall, and also uninstall, uninstall, and it is disappeared. No. So the data will stay the same on the main accounts. Yeah, the next feature is about the eyes uh, because uh, if you're using your smartphone uh, too much, it gives uh, stress to your eyes. And it's also, uh, before you go to bed, if you're using your smartphone, um, it is not really good because maybe you have problems to sleep in. So let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time and go here to the second page. And here you have the point comfort view. If you tap that, you will see that the screen is turning in a bit yellow. Um, so because now the phone is reducing the blue light and um, that is very good for the eyes, uh, so you can leave it also on on the day and at night. Um, let me show you more here in the settings uh, at the point display. And then you will have, uh, <laughs> we have here the comfort view again. And here you can also change the opacity of the blue light filter. Now you can make it a bit stronger and so on, or less in the middle. Um, so it is really helpful for your eyes. Uh, you can make it black and white. It's also not that bad. No? Then you have no problems. Uh, black and white is very well if you want to read something. Maybe if, you, if you're reading a lot, maybe like uh, ebooks on your smartphone, I would recommend you to enable the black and white feature here. And um, yeah. yeah, so what is also very nice, you can schedule that feature in case you say, okay, I don't want to have it on the day because it's a, it's a different view on the phone because the videos have that yellow touch. Uh, if you just want to have it uh, at the evening before you go sleep, then you can schedule it here. And you can, if you go here on the three points, you can um, set it maybe from sunset to sunrise 
or you can set a certain time by your own. But I think from sunset to sunrise is uh, very well if you want to have just at night. So, yeah. And the last point I want to show you is something very nice. Uh, it is named Q Lens. So it is uh, using artificial intelligence to recognize things. And uh, yeah, let me show you what I mean. We will find our feature here at the camera. And here we have the little icon for the Q lens. So um, if I now tap here on the Q lens, you will recognize stuff. Uh, so may our little Monchishi here, um, if I'm tapping now on the symbol after here, find it, he will show us now on pin and twist the Monchishis. So he just recognize uh, our little friend here and he will show me all his brothers, you want to see as well, uh, at pin and trust. Okay, uh, and that uh, feature of course have also a QR code reader. Um, I will put it like this. So then you can decide what you do with the uh, QR code. So you have to know it's a link or something like this. Um, so I have a little text here, so I go on quick memo to show you my text and let me tell you thank you so much for watching phones and more yeah thank you so so much uh, i hope i could show you something new with that video and uh yeah maybe if you want you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up uh, would be very helpful for my videos uh, thank you so so much for and uh, yeah i've created also some other videos if you're interested or not just subscribe me it would be really a pleasure to see you again and yeah Maybe until next time. Ciao.